Good morning guys, hopefully you can hear me over the washer. We are getting ready to leave for Bush Gardens. I'm making some sandwiches for us to take because we're not going to eat in the park because that's just too expensive. So we're going to eat in the car um, and then just go back into the park since we have season passes anyway. Well, my dad has a season pass and his pass gets me in free. But um, yeah, so I woke up. Actually, it was funny. I was really confused when my alarm went off. I was like, wait. Why did I set an alarm this morning? Like I couldn't figure it out and then I was like, oh yeah, we're going to Bush Gardens. So, um, <clears throat> park doesn't open until 10. It's about a little after 9. It's like half 9.30. So we're gonna leave here soon. Um, but I'm gonna make these and I'm excited. I'm really excited and I'm nervous because as you guys know, today is my day to face my fears. I have a plan of action in place. I have done my research. I know which ones I wanna get on in what order. I asked my sister. Um, which ones to get on first and that would help build me confidence to get on Cheetah Hunt at the end of the day. And actually, um, Kumba looks scarier than Cheetah Hunt, so I think Kumba would actually be my last roller coaster. But, um, it's gonna be a hot one, so I'm thankful. I'm definitely gonna get on those water rides. Water rides I love. I've never been scared of them. I've always loved them. Well, okay, Journey to Atlantis at SeaWorld scares me, but that also has a roller coaster element in it, so, um, anyway. Definitely gonna take advantage of the water rides. I'm wearing shorts and like the lightest top I could find. So, gotta make these, pack them up, put them in the beach bag, even though we're not going to the beach. And, um, I actually had to take my EpiPen out of my purse because we are actually under a huge advisory today for um, stuff going up to 115, and my purse is gonna be in my locker most of the day. I'm gonna take some videos here and there when I can, but my purse is gonna be in my locker most of the day. So, the yeah, EpiPen's not supposed to sit in that kind of heat. It, it basically renders it ineffective. So I had to put that out of the sink and just need to remember to put that back in my purse when I come home. And that's about all there is to it. So the next couple clips you are gonna see are gonna be on my phone today, but I need to get these packed up. So thank you guys. I am thinking I'm ending the vlog. Thank you guys for coming on this clip. <laughs> um, no, but I will see you guys later and I hope you guys are having a good day and Let's go face my fears. So much better shot. We just got back from the park and I'm gonna go take a bath because my ankle's a little bit sore and more so because <coughs> sweat everywhere, salt crystals everywhere. Uh, it, we were actually under a heat advisory today so it was pretty hot but it was a lot of fun. Um, I rode three roller coasters so I rode Scorpion and Cobra's Curse first. I rode Cobra's Curse first which is Basically, you go up and then you go backwards and then you spin too. It was I didn't I didn't get any videos of any coasters except Cheetah Hunt because I didn't have my phone on me the whole day. So there's very few clips from the actual park, but I'll tell you guys about it. Um, let me tell you the first time I I uh, not so much Cobra's Curse. I was fine with that because you're not going on a lift hill. You take like an elevator up. So I had a lot of fun on that one. And after that, I was like, okay, I'm going to try Scorpion now, which is you have a lap bar, but you do do a loop, which was 
really weird. Um, it's actually like a 25 year old coaster. There's only two of them in the world I found out left. Um, and so you go up, it's not a very big hill and then you go down and you go through a loop immediately and then you go through a helix down. And um, the I, I was like, when I sat in that coaster, I was like, I regret my life decisions. What am I doing? What What is what is this? Why, why am I doing this to myself? And, um, but I had a lot of fun on that one too. I, I, I ended up after we, after we went through the loop, um, and we were like going down the helix and going down the hill, I, I had a blast and I loved it. So I was like, all right, this is awesome. Um, I've ridden two coasters and I've loved them both, but they've both been small coasters. Um, and then, hang on, I'm going to pause my bath real quick so it doesn't overflow. Okay, I'm back. Um, and if you want to see what these coasters look like, I did this last night. There's POVs on YouTube or point of views of what these coasters are. So I rode those two and then it was really hot today. We were actually under a heat advisory today. And so after we rode those two coasters, I we went on the Congo River Rapids, which I'm never scared of those anyway. I love water rides. So let's just say I got, me and my dad, we both got soaked on those river rapids. I don't think I've ever gotten that wet on them before. We got hit by the waterfall. We went down both times, so we got splashed. Like, I was soaked after that. But it was a lot of fun and it was hot, so it felt nice. I mean, I dried off within like 30 minutes and I was like soaked, so that was fun. And after that, we went and ate um, lunch. And after lunch, we, I'm kind of giving you a synopsis of the day because <laughs> I didn't film a whole lot. I'll, I'll put in the clips of Bush Gardens that I put, except for Cheetah Hunt, I'm gonna put them in before these clips. After that, we went and ate lunch and <clears throat> um, then we rode the, they have a real steam powered train that goes through the animal enclosures. So it's basically um, like it's a, Ser it's a Serengeti kind of train. So you actually go through, there's um, wildebeest, zebras, uh, what else was there, bongos, greater kudu, rhinos, elephants, and giraffes. And you're actually in the enclosure with them on this train. So we rode that, it was actually really funny because the train conductor, he's like, all right, you guys are about to experience the power of a steam locomotive. And then we like inch out of the station at one mile an hour. So that was a nice way to relax after doing those two coasters and the water ride. And then after lunch and after that, it was time to tackle my fear and what I actually really wanted to get on and that was Cheetah Hunt. Years ago, I was petrified of this roller coaster, you guys. My sister got me on it. I absolutely was terrified of it. I just remember literally I went through the coaster screaming, I hate you, Abigail! Like, it was bad. So, now it was time to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and insert the clip of Cheetah Hunt that I took. It is, hi, Yanni. It is, okay, that's enough. It is a 160 foot drop. You have a, uh, like a zero G roll. Uh, I forget what they're called, but you go through a roll and you are launched, the three launch coaster at 65 miles an hour. So there's three hills, three launches, the biggest one being 160. So here's a clip of the very top of that coaster and people going down. Right down below. Nice. Yeah. Next one. Oh, there we go. Create a six digit. Six. I think there's one coming because I just heard it. The nice thing about today was I had no time to think. There was no lines except for the log flume, which we did after the cheetah hunt. We waited about 10 minutes, but every other ride we were able to get right on. And so it was, I didn't have time to think. I didn't have, I was going through that line for cheetah hunt and I was like, I'm gonna die. I, I kept saying, I was like, why am I doing this to myself? What am I doing to myself? It's my panda. And um, so we got on. I strapped myself down. The worst part was sitting in the station. I was so scared, I was shaking. I was gripping the thing so hard, my hands were going numb, like it was bad. Um, but then I 
So we pulled it, we went out, and I will admit, I screamed like a little schoolgirl. I screamed really loud at the top of my lungs. And there was a couple on that poster that scared me when we went through the uh, inversion, the twist, that scared me. And then the first hill and the second hill, I caught a bit of air time, so I came up out of my seat. That scared me. But it's a three and a half minute coaster and the rest of it I actually was having fun. When we went through this turn that we went down and my favorite part was there's a part where it goes like this through the water and I liked that. I was a little bit scared but I liked it. And the craziest part was when we got off the coaster I actually wanted to go again despite being scared out of my wits on it. So I was like, I will ride this again. I didn't love it the minute I got off like uh, Scorpion and Corpse Curse, but I will ride this again. And that made me feel happy that I conquered my fear of Cheetah Hunt because all that was in my mind throughout that whole thing was, I'm gonna die. Like, I remember this from years ago, I'm gonna die. And um, so I was scared, but I, I did it. I conquered the fear, I stepped onto the coaster, I pulled that thing down and I was just like, there's no turning back. And so I did that and it was, it ended up being fun. I would get on it again. Um, and then after that we did the log flume, um, which was, seemed really tame in comparison to Cheetah Hunt. Um, I don't know if I said it or not, but Cheetah Hunt goes like 65 miles an hour. Um, oh, I'm running out of video, hang on. So anyway, after we did that, we did the log flume. And that was a lot of fun. I was hoping to get more wet than I did. I didn't get very wet on that. Um, and after we did that, then we, I decided I was like, I want to ride Cobra's Curse one more time because I actually really loved that ride, despite it being a roller coaster. It's really cool. You go up like an elevator and you go backwards and forwards and you spin and it was just so much fun. So on the second time, I was like, I'm going to be brave. And when we went backwards, I stuck my hands up in the air and was just having the time of my life. It was so much fun i so i will say basically in recap scorpion and cobra's curse those two coasters i loved them like i had pulled into station on scorpion and i was like that i was laughing through the whole thing i was like that was so much fun um cheetah hunt i was a little bit scared but i would get on it again i it was weird like i said when we pulled in the station i was like i will i would ride this again and i actually kind of wanted to go around again despite being scared so that was my first experience with taking on the year of roller coasters um the two water rides were a lot of fun as well and overall it was just a really awesome day so uh next time we go to bush gardens i want to try kumba my dad didn't want to get on that one so i'll have to do it with my sister because i wasn't riding it alone basically you go through seven inversions you pull four g's and it's crazy but cheetah hunt was enough for today so I'm gonna go hop in the bath because I am a sweaty, gross mess. And um, after that, after my bath, I'm gonna upload this and uh, eat some dinner. So thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.